else is weird. I've never presented to the camera in somebody else's space before. Yeah, it's right? Really, it's, it's, weird. it's a really weird feeling. So the premise of today's video is simple. I wanted to build a custom keyboard for a friend of mine and fellow YouTuber, Josh Valley. He, in turn, put together a dream audio file headphone setup for me in a video that you should go watch right here. Somebody definitely got the better end of that deal, am I right? I drove down to meet him, surprise him with his new keyboard, and today is the big reveal. You ready? Let's go! So the board in question is the GMMK Pro from Glorious because I think it's a great entry point for beginners. The 75% means he's not having to adjust to a crazy smaller layout and the hot swap means he can continue to experiment with switch types. It's a gateway board for his future crippling keyboard habit. The only issue is that Josh's channel has kind of this running theme of this really clean white aesthetic and as we already know, the GMMK Pro Ice White is definitely neither ice nor white, but I wanted to make it white and I wanted a coating that was really durable, like Cerakote, but that's generally only done at gun shops and that presented a problem. All right, yeah, I'm looking to get some Cerakoting done. I've got this gaming keyboard. Have you ever done anything like that before? It's like a keyboard, like you type on. All right, thanks. You guys do any Cerakoting? Not a firearm, it's a keyboard, like you type on. Okay, yeah, I'm looking to get some Cerakoting. Nah, I appreciate it, have a good one. Hi, yeah, you too. Hi, yeah, I'm looking to get Thanks so much. All right, nah, I get it, thank you. Yeah, no, thanks, take care. Thanks to a buddy on Twitter, I was directed to a shop called Spectre that agreed to do this keyboard board in Stormtrooper white Cerakote. So I headed out to Monroe, Washington, and it's, uh, well, it's out there. Honestly, for only their second time ever doing a keyboard, it's not bad. It's like 96% there. It was pretty cheap too, as far as Cerakote goes at like 120 bucks, and the turnaround was decent. They got it back in like two and a half weeks. So I put the polycarb plate in this board because I thought it would be a better match. Lubed and filmed some H1 switches for that black and white theme, and went with some novel key stabs that are wholly modded and wire balanced. Another big thing I did for this board, the minute my original GMMK Pro review was over, I shipped one of my copies out to New York so my guy stupid fish could design some custom laser cut foams for the inside of this thing because the included foams are pretty meh. Unsurprisingly, they came out great. And as an added bonus, they're now available for you as well. He does an amazing job. I'll link his store down in the description. I really debated on the keycaps, but I went with the basic black on white set of polycaps from Kinetic Labs, double shot PBT, really clean look. But I also grabbed some black on white MT3s from Drop. I figured I'd just bring both and leave the final call up to him. Because no custom keyboard is complete without a matching cable, I reached out to Space Cables and they put together a custom for me in black and white. I take Josh to kind of be a no-nonsense guy. So I did want to do an aviator, but I left the coil off. I don't know if I made the right call on that or not. We're going to find out. So how does it all sound? Psych, I know you guys hate these. So there's a full sound test at the end of the video if you are interested, but of course it sounds good. Now let's go see Josh. All right, guys. So I am here um, at Josh Valor's place today. You guys have probably seen Josh's channel before. His knowledge base is incredible. Cinematography, it almost puts my machine. He knows what he's doing. He no, knows what he's kidding. doing. So uh, we talked and we did a little project where he put together an audio system for me. And I asked him if he'd ever had any kind of custom keyboard before. And you run a what currently? A G915 TKL from Logitech. Logitech G915. So you're it's spending premium. money on a keyboard. You're not a stranger to that. A lot of money. No. Okay. But you've never had a custom keyboard before? No, no, never made one. Um, I, I barely even have any experience with like seeing them. So we talked a little bit about aesthetic. I kind of got an idea of what he was looking for and I put together a board for him. Now this is the GMMK Pro. These are pretty hot right now. Kind of hard to get your hands on one of these. Not as hard as some of the custom keyboard stuff that's always sold out. So this was a little more accessible. I'm not going to talk too much more about it. I'm going to let you oh, okay. I dive get to, in. I get to react. I'm excited about this. Okay. Oh, that's so clean, dude. That is so clean. Oh, it's heavy too. It's heavy. It's real it's a heavy, monster. dude. Yeah, it's you an absolute kill monster. Kill somebody with this thing. Yeah. Holy crap! Look at that. That's that's nice. What we have here is a Cerakoted real white keyboard. We went with the polycarb so plate. So sick. First things first. Uh, you can't have a nice keyboard without having a nice cable. So got a cable made to match. I didn't. I didn't figure you for a coil guy. I didn't figure you for like. I could do a coil. I mean, I. They all look sick, to be honest. Like they look pretty dumb. I thought maybe you yeah. might clown the coil a little bit. Okay, I've always wondered, what is this? It's called an aviator connector. Okay, what does it do? Nothing. Nothing? It just, just looks cool. Okay. That's all it does. That's okay. literally all it does. It serves all no right. purpose. You could get little extensions made sure, that would fit sure. different keyboards if you didn't want to take the main cable off your desk. Okay. But it's a reach. I mean... Yeah, I feel it. 
we know what like USB C is. It's, it's, it's for the looks. Are all the custom boards this heavy? Because like I was not expecting the weight. Good ones are. Good ones? Okay. Yeah, the more expensive ones are. Because I, they're they're either gonna have internal weights or they're gonna be made from materials that make them a little heavier. A lot of the entry level stuff that's caught on now are acrylic boards or polycar boards. Okay. And when I say entry level, we're still talking about $100, $150 for a bare bones, like just to get in the door. That means no switches, no caps. How much did this thing cost? As configured, oof, you're looking at about probably just a little shy of 500 right here. Nice. Yeah. Honestly, it feels like 500 bucks. Like, <laughs> I can't explain the, the density of this. Normally with, with a keyboard test, you kind of like do the flex test or something like that. Like you'd have to do this. Good luck. This is insane, dude. The switches inside are linears. That uh, probably means nothing to you, but they're the most accessible keyboard switch. Okay. And they're also- Well, that means like the, the travel is like, it gets stiffer as you go lower, right? Or it, is it just completely even? It's it's gonna be an even feel all the way through. Actually, hey, hi, sorry, it's me again. Actually, Josh was 100% correct when he was talking about the spring force becoming greater, the further down the travel that stem gets. I got lost in the nuance of that question in the moment. He's just so dreamy to be around. Sorry, Josh, I I failed you. Oh, so okay, like with okay. a tactile, you're gonna have a little bump that mm -hmm. you go over, and with a click, it's gonna be an audible, annoying, loud click. This should be a really smooth experience. Yeah, this is crazy. This like has so little resonance compared to the 915. The 915 is like clack, clack, clack. This one's like dense. What are the keycaps you got? The reason why I went with these, one, they kind of have like a cubic look. They're obviously monotone, but they have a, a profile that's a little more um, familiar to what you're used to. Yeah. Tough coming from a G915 because that's like tic-tac. Yeah, it's like, keys, like super flat profile. Yeah. So I didn't want to limit you to just one set of keycaps because like audio, custom keyboards are all about, you know, what you enjoy. So I wanted you to have some options. So I went with a slightly different keycap set. This is MT3. This is what I actually use on my board right now. These are bizarre. These go back to like some IBM, like beam spring, like 1970s, like sci-fi looking. Those things are sick, dude. Like I'm kind of a NASA themed font. Yeah, it yeah. is kind of like yeah. that. And they might be a little closer in height to any like artisan or custom keycaps okay. I have. Because okay. I know you got a custom artisan keycap, right? I did. For your yeah. escape key? Yeah. But Brian, why didn't you just get him an artisan and a custom knob? Oh, that's a great question. Probably because he said he already bought his own. Stop trying to make me look like an asshole. Yeah, I think that'll be sick, dude. Yeah, I'd love to, to hook those up. I think those will look a little more non-traditional. And I think the contrast between the super square body and uh, the slightly rounded caps here, I think that'll look nice. These have a very unique, like, put your finger in the top one, yeah. that curvature. Right? It's like cradles it. Once you get yeah. used to typing on these, I don't like to type on anything else. Fair enough. I'll, I'll give it a shot, man. I'll give it a shot. I'm I'm down for basically anything cuz uh, this thing is super solid. So this Sick. is where it, this is where it starts. This okay. This is where okay. it starts. This is your entry <laughs> yeah. point now. It's a rabbit hole. As a keyboard content creator, it's a little bit different than like if you were just purely a consumer. Um are you looking for specific things because of how you interact with them or because of how people view them, if that makes any sense. Like, it does make sense. There's always some prestige to certain boards. Some of these keyboards for the frame alone, I'm talking just just the frame and the PCB, no caps, no switches, 450 to 550 just to get in. And that mm -hmm. is like a lot of things, that's if you get them on first run. If it okay. goes to secondary market, forget it. You're, you're looking at paying double, triple to get your hands on some of this stuff. Jeez. Yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. Take Seems some time. Seems like a good starting point. Yeah. Yeah. Take some time, order some ridiculous artisans, join some group buys and pay $300 for a keycap set you won't see for a year or two. Yeah, thanks for making me broke. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank Brilliant for sponsoring today's video. You've probably heard me talk about them on the channel before. Brilliant is an online learning website and app that puts a big focus on interactive learning. That's big. You actually learn by doing and not just memorizing formulas and facts. They've been busy this year too, creating a whole new platform that really takes that interactivity to the next level. Pre-algebra happens to be one of those redesigned courses. And if that's an area where you're not particularly confident, you're in luck. Before you ever actually dive into anything resembling an algebraic formula, you're like handheld through understanding the relationship between the numbers, and it's represented visually in a couple different ways. It's uh, 
Well, it's brilliant. I'm sorry, I had to. Brilliant is definitely one of my favorite ways to learn even complex topics that revolve around math and science. Programming with Python, cryptocurrency, there's just so much there. If you're ready to get smarter, visit brilliant.org slash badctech or click the link down in the description. It's free to sign up. Seriously, it's an amazing resource and it really helps to support the channel. As an added bonus, the first 200 of you to do so will save 20% off the annual membership. Huge thanks to Brilliant for sponsoring today and thank you so much for your time. So overall, I think He's pretty stoked on his first custom keyboard. I'm gonna spend a few weeks with this incredible audio setup that he put together for me. He's gonna spend a few weeks with his keyboard. Afterwards, we're gonna get together and compare notes. I'm probably gonna have to come up with a little added bonus gift to balance the scales a little bit because he really spoiled me. Don't forget to go check out Josh's channel and subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to get your hands on anything you saw in the video today, I'll leave links down in the description for everything. And that's it for this time. I'm Brian P. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit that sub button. And until next time, stay up.